Basically, we're reviewing our study that is going to be published tomorrow in the journal of PNAS regarding the effects of very low dose bisphenol A on brain development. Bisphenol A, or BPA, is as it's more commonly known. It's a um, chemical that's used in the manufacturing processes to make plastics hard. So it started as a simple project. We took the concentration of bisphenol A that's found in the Old Man River, and we say this is, this is a concentration that humans would be exposed to if you live downstream of the processing plant, which would be Lethbridge and Tabor. And we said, do we measure any changes in developing brains? And we use zebrafish as a model organism to circumvent some of the problems with the placenta. And we wanted to say, at this concentration, is it enough to have an effect on brain development? And what we show is that, yes, it does. We're working with very, very, very low doses, and um, as my um, as my supervisor will you know will tell you, she was very, very surprised when I came back and I showed her the results. That look, there is there is an effect, and she was floored because these are doses that you don't even consider. Brain development is a protracted series of steps. First one thing has to happen, it starts, it peaks, it completes. Another event occurs, it peaks, it, it completes, and so on. And there's about five major processes that happen to end up with an adult brain by the, around the age 25. And the timing of when each of these steps occurs is very important. And so what we show is that the timing of when cells decide to become neurons, which is a very specific event, is, is altered in the presence of bisphenol A. So what does that mean for society? Yeah. What are we looking at? Well, that's where it gets a lot more complicated, right? Does it mean you purge your house of all plastics and you only use glass and you send your kids to soccer with a glass bottle? I mean, we live in a society that has plastic, and that's just the reality of it. I think there's some things that we can do that make sense. We don't put our plastics in the dishwasher. We don't put them in the microwave. Every now and again, you purge the plastics that you've been using in your kitchen and you buy new, which isn't great for landfills, and you know, there's some consequences for that. And so I think that we do the best we can and we continue to apply pressure on our government to continue to apply pressure on our manufacturers. So there is no safe alternative? No. Glass.